cooking tubes. <laughs> Jackson has active pickups, you know, the 81-60 combo. And right now I'm running right through the orange, uh, the vintage sounding speaker, um, the orange P PP-108. I said PP. PP-108 and then the orange micro dark. And then the black truck's going straight into it, so it goes through. I did have it hooked up for cable method, which is cool. It gets super loud, and I can run it to the 412, and it's amazing sounding. But I'm not playing live, so I don't need that much mid punch. My neighbor's got a newborn trying to be nice. <laughs> usually gives me a good wow 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 you'll know and then pop on the flange what's cool about this black one cut metal if I didn't like the way that I didn't like the timing, the way the flange was going. I do like the fact on this pedal that I could sit there and, you know, put down my tempo that I want. Slow it down. starts sounding and it starts sounding way better. It's kind of it's a bit chilly in here. In case you're wondering right now, uh, it's just the compressor and the noise gate's still on with high gain. Um, the orange micro dark is set at clean, as clean as I can get it. Uh, you just put the gain at one. That's about as clean as you can get it. 
And you can make it sound like Marshall-y, pure mids, like a 4x12. If you, if you turn the, scoop the mids the other way and go all mids, no bass, no treble. And then the pedal does the other work, either the other EQ. But I kind of like it the way it is, uh, just straight in the middle. Cause then it's a bit high, sharp pitch. But I can change it on the... See what happens when I hit the EQ. Yeah, my EQ boost is set for uh, the 4x12, so it really doesn't work with that little amp. I do like the way the black truck, the more black truck, uh, high gain sounds through the micro dark. It says it's vintage, but it sounds blown to me. <laughs> and I got it brand new. sound that good to you I guess but um, to me it does uh, when you turn the thing counterclockwise <laughs>
turn the compressor off to see if that's making any difference. <laughs> truck pedal is like a portable rig that's why they call it black truck I'm getting ready to get my dentures fitted tomorrow might as well take it to show you or take you along take a look at it that's what I'm using running through that can't put the phone anywhere else. And you just hold for the tuner. Probably be able to see that. Actually, it says that's on. That's a D. It's a zero to me. <laughs> G, the G's off. The B's off. Should be all sort of tuned down like a quarter step. That's usually how I tune by ear. It's like a quarter step off. I don't know why. It's just always been like that. But yeah, that's the Blackmore truck running through the micro dark. This sounds killer. I didn't even expect when I cut the mids just a second ago for it to sound that tight. Like I cut the mid. Uh on the device itself the dark and when I did it, it like the pedals made for high mids like I got to set up for mid punch and then when I took the mids out I was like wow that's like not it sounds compressed even though I turned off the compressor it's kind of cool but no that's the uh more black truck it's 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 a rig you could take it with you anywhere that thing is a beast and uh it it it's worth it it's worth every penny I gotta say it's I thought oh man I could have got a cabinet or something I could have saved up and no man um I got enough speakers to run this through I can run it through the 200 watt stereo behind me or behind the camera and uh it sounds killer that way honestly it sounds even better through the stereo because it's got its own preamp so but I do like cooking it through that tube man because when you get to get it cooking through the tube even though the stereo will show you some EQ and some color changing, magnificent stuff, this thing, I don't know, man. All right, let's get that tutor off. Let's get back into the mode and get back to playing. But no, I just wanted to show people what the Blackmore sounds, or the Black Truck sounds like running through the micro dark. It's kind of crazy. Black Truck through the micro dark. So it's all dark on dark. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll back the mids and see what it sounds like real quick. And then we're gonna go ahead and get on with our Sunday evening here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
that's the sound of that old school song, a friend of mine's. Um, it really helps to make sure it all runs together, but I'm actually in love with this uh, combination right now. It's not hooked up with a bunch of cables or anything, it's just straight in. And I'm digging it. Now if only I could figure out the EQ. <laughs> It sounds loud enough like, like those 412s are going right now, but it's only that little 6-inch speaker, uh, those little 6-inch vintage. I think the longer I play it, sounds better, warmer. And this guitar has so much sustain though, with the active pickups and this, I don't know what they do man, but the, the paint and everything in the body, it feels like mahogany man, but I guess it's not. Um, but this thing is just resonates the sound, man. I got a noise gate on. There it goes. Finally kicked in. <laughs> Finally said no more. have a couple noise gates i had a rockatron hush pedal it's my favorite honestly just because it was blue <laughs> i like blue um blue and green baby uh no uh the rockatron hush pedal was probably my favorite because you could just all that had was the threshold on it and you could turn it way down and it worked great like it didn't take away too much from your sustain that thing is super smart or something <laughs> It's crazy how it does that. A lot of people might not know what I'm talking or trying to tell you or get at, but that's crazy how it does that, man, with the noise gate built in like that. It's a really good noise gate. Uh, more, you knocked it out of the park with that black.